early on in Masters Week, Augusta National made a point of growing the game and making sure a local institution could benefit from that. For all that's going on at Payne College and all that will happen with the future of its golf teams, here's News Channel 6's Renetta Dubose. Getting a hole in one is a golf player's dream, and for some, so is attending college. And the recent partnership between Augusta National Golf Club and Payne will make both a reality for men and women. High 70s, low 80s, but it's, it's getting there. I see a lot of improvement from where I was my freshman year to where I am now. Braden Smith says it's his swing, among many other things, such as work ethic, that improved with playing golf for Payne College. One of my teammates, uh, Matt, he actually graduated this past year. I've worked with him a lot, and, and I mean, him and between him and my coach, they can normally, because you can't see your own swing, so they can normally look at me and tell me what I'm doing wrong and help me get on the right track. So a lot of times before we travel, I get at least around them with them too. Now, more students have a chance to improve their game of golf just like Smith. During day one of the Masters, the chairman of Augusta National Golf Club, Fred Ridley, announced the creation of the Lee Elder Scholarships at Payne College. This prestigious honor named for the first African-American man to compete in the Masters tournament 45 years ago, creates two scholarships that will be awarded annually to a student athlete who competes on the men's and women's golf teams. Anytime you have the opportunity to add additional opportunities for your athletic program, um, you just excited about that. But I think the excitement in itself was more so because it was a program that we, um, we've never had before, which is women's golf. Director of Athletics Selena Khan tells us Payne College has a five-member men's golf team right now, and that includes Smith, who is a junior. She says starting a team for women helps promote golf at Payne. They learn how to be engaged, they're empowered, and um, they feel supported in what they feel that, that they're good at. Khan says that support stretches through all 10 sports she oversees. Smith, who initially learned the game from his dad and started playing in Richmond County High Schools before receiving a scholarship to join the Lions, agrees, adding that there is a chance for the men's and women's golf teams to work together to be their best at the game. The men who have been playing this tournament for a couple of years now can teach the girls the layout of the course and help them work around the course. Now the details are still being worked out, so there is no date yet on when the program will start. In Augusta, Renetta DuBose, WJBF News Channel 6.